welcome to the project demonstration of wireless data encryption and decryption for data security uh, using RF technology so here we are going to send the data from the transmitter end to the receiver section with the help of this RF communication which is operated at 2.4 gigahertz so the encrypted data will not be visible at this transmitter end but the data will be encrypted by this PIC microcontroller and with the help of this RF module we are going to send the encrypted data at this receiver end so the data will be received and it will be info, uh, given to the same PIC microcontroller and it will decrypt the data so they, based on the decryption the data will be displayed on this 16 by 2 LCD screen along with audible alerts so here the thing is the encryption is going to be the 128 bits uh, ASK modulation will be done from the transmitter to the receiver module so let us see the demonstration so before switching on this kit we need to install the one application in our laptop that is PL2303 so this is the application we need to install so while we installation so first time setup so it will ask for insert the PL2303 module after installation successfully done then insert that so after inserting go to this space so I am inserting that now right so when we insert into the USB slot so go to manage so this uh, steps are to get the communication number of this particular device so device or manage and then device manager there you get the ports here after connecting the USB to TTL so there you get the prolific USB to TTL communication port number so if you didn't get that this line instead of this if you get any error so contact like a seller or something then go to update driver browse my computer so let me pick that one so then select to 2008 and then next and done ok if you get the error otherwise so if you get the com number properly then just note on the com number and minimize that and go to the hyper terminal folder so there we get the hyper terminal folder so in that folder open this yellow color icon click on that so directly this will open type any name ok and uh, select the com number which we got from the device manager right and the next setup is restore defaults right Time, uh, type any name select com number and restore defaults then click on ok right ok so now the system got established with our transmitter section now, now switch on the receiver module so then there is a welcome message on the LCD screen after that it will empty LCD no data so if I send it from here so I send the data but nothing is appear on the screen but receiver end so we got the data so you can check that again So in this version we did for 32 characters only as our LCD display can accept only 32 characters. So once the data is received and displayed on the LCD is to reset that so you can clear this reset switch then the old data will be erased and it will wait for the new data again. So like this so data will be encrypted from the transmitter end till the receiver section and the decrypted data will be displayed on the 16 by 2 LCD screen along with the buzzer indication so on this motherboard so this is a reset switch and here also reset switch but in our case this will reset the received data and it is starting from the reading the data okay done